Tanjiro was on patrol in the rain for, for the last four hours. As soon as he came back, he was he was already sick. Even though he denied it, he was coughing and sneezing. Tanjiro, I know you're sick. Quit acting like you're not, he said. Tanjiro was sitting on one of the beds the infirmary requested by you, and even though he said no, you basically dragged him there against his will. I'm not sick. At the time, you and him were best friends. Yes, you are. You handed him the cup, and he was about to drink it, but you put your hands on his. Listen, Tanjiro, I really do care about you. You just, I know it's sometimes it's important to put others before yourself, but if you go out there fighting demons while you're sick, you have a more likelihood you can die out there. And I don't need you dying on me, he said. So, can you rest for me? He said. Your, your tone became soft and so gentle. Yeah, sure. You look up at his face. You look and dance at time. He was all red. Oh no, Tanjiro, did your fever get higher? No. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Alright then, drink up. I'm gonna go get you some food. Be right back, he said. He was flustered because he wasn't fully paying attention that you had your hand on top of his. As soon as he left the room, he started freaking out and said, Oh my god, I hold her hand. Deep breath, Tanjiro. You can handle demons, you can handle holding a girl's hand. <sighs> he said, without a growing frustration. He just said something, but he didn't muster up the courage. As he came back, Tanjiro was lying down with the cup next to him. Did you drink all of it? Every single drop? Yes, ma'am, he, sa he said in a sarcastic tone. Hey, don't be sass with me. I'm going to you back to health. He chuckled. Now, come on, sit up. You're weak. You need food. He said, grab a pair of chopsticks and bring a piece of the food to his mouth. You don't have to feed... Before he could finish his sentence, he put the food piece in his mouth. I don't... Tanjiro, he needs to rely on people. I know you're super independent, but you gotta trust people to take care of you. <laughs> That's why you... You know, you make the good demon slayer. This caught Tanjiro off guard. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean... You put others before yourself, no matter how sick or injured you are. But that does not give you the right to not take care of yourself. You're still human. And you're not no someone's slave to go around doing their bidding. You don't need them to tell you don't need them to tell you when to take breaks. You should know by yourself, okay? And I shouldn't have to drag you here to take care of yourself. I guess you're right. Wise words, he said. Thanks, I learned from the best. He said, giving him a big smile. Now, enough chit chat. You have to eat. Mm hmm. This time, he didn't resist. After, 
After a few days, he fully recovered. As Tanjiro got better, he, he and him started hanging out more. You and him didn't hang out as much because of him working on slaying demons. But now you guys have time. So you decide to take every opportunity to spend with each other. You and him talked day and night. One day, it was night time, and you and him were outside in the woods. It was only there was only a moonlight shining. He saw a pink tree in the distance. Wow, it's so beautiful! He, he thought. He put he tapped Tanjiro's shoulder. Come on, let's go up there. Are you sure? There could be demons in that tree. I don't want you getting hurt. He said. Huh? You're so cute. Don't worry, I have you to protect me. And plus, I can protect myself. Come on. He had a flush to look, but he quickly shook it off and went up right, you, while you guys climbed the tree. He sat down along the sturdy branches. He started yawning. You put your head against his shoulder, making him get a little flustered. Thanks, you, for being there for me, Chandra muttered out. No problem. Your eyes felt heavy and they were about to shut. The last word you murmured out was, I love you, Tondro. This caught him completely off guard. In the heat of a moment, he said, I love you too. But when he looked back down at you, he was already, he fell asleep on his shoulder. He didn't want to move you because he looked so cute there. I'll protect you with my life I ha if I have to, he said, turning around so that you can lie down in his chest.